the 1966 Ford Galaxy. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, What's in the Box? Hello once again, Ford fans. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Monster Hobbies, What's in the Box? Last week, Bat fans, we were looking at the 1966 Ford Fairlane GT GTA, and this week we are looking at its big brother, the 1966 Ford Galaxy. This kit is an amazing two-in-one from AMT Ertl. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I upload another video, you are the first one to know about it. Let's get this one up to 100 likes for all the Galaxy fans. And now, let's go down to the Ford showroom and see what's in the box. Now we're going all the way back to 1966 to the Ford showroom where we get to see the awesome 1966 Ford Galaxy hardtop by AMT. Doo -doo -doo. This is a three-in-one kit. You can build it stock, custom, or drag, which is really cool. And as you remember the Ford Fairlane from last time, this of course is the bigger brother to the Fairlane with possibly the 427 sitting under the hood here. In fact, it does say seven liter, so woohoo, very nice. But yeah, as you can see, this shares a lot of body style with the Ford Fairlane from last week. But this is one of the bigger galaxies. So let's take a look at the side of the box here. This is, of course, an older AMT kit. But here, let's just zoom in on this. You can see we get the nice metallic green galaxy. I always liked that color on this car. And then we get this custom version. This is, I do believe George Barris did, had his hand in on this one. You can see the sort of, it's almost like a Chrysler 300 front grille, isn't it? Uh, and then we get the dragster version, which is always pretty awesome. It's got the Black Knight horse on there. It's a very cool decal, as well as the big 427 in, induction hood, sort of very similar to the Ford Thunderbolt. Now, Let's back the camera out again. I'll just flip this up on the side. There you can see our 66 Galaxy model again. And then over on here, we get, of course, the blurry camera. We get, of course, the American English. So it says, build one of three ways, stock, customer, drag, detailed, optional, 427. Told you guys. Cubic inch engine with multiple versions, paint and cement not included. And then you get Spanish. Swedish, German, and French-Canadian. Let's see, is there a date on this thing? 1986, the AMT Ertl Company. So of course this is a old one. So this includes instructions in English, and it has a barcode, hee <laughs> hee. This barcode was kinda new back then. So, there's our Galaxy. Now let's open up the lid on this nice, nice machine and see what is inside it. Of course we got a great Ford Galaxy instruction sheet, which we will come back to in a minute. Now, this is all molded in red, and I know red is one of the harder plastics to do anything with. So, as you can see, pretty much everything is bagged into one gigantic bag in here. Uh, the glass is not bagged, but I guess everything around it is. Ooh, darn, on my copy here, that is a tire burn. What happens is the rubber tire sits on the glass. Over time, the rubber, the chemical in the rubber actually will eat into the plastic on the glass. And that's what's happened here. However, we live in Alberta, so I could make that into an Alberta car because there's not a single windshield out here that isn't busted in some way, shape or form. I, I'm joking, of course. <laughs> anyway, so, there's our roll cage. This, of course, is for um, the dragster. Or it could also be used in NASCAR if you wanted to build one of the great big last galaxies that raced in NASCAR. Look at the tires here. You get this great big cluster sitting in the corner. Lots of cool stuff. They actually give you four tires for NASCAR, as well as the slicks for your dragster and everything. So we'll take a look at that a little later in our review. And then we get this double chrome tree. 
molded in or sealed up in this kind of bag the same way they did cereals like cereal bags <laughs> for shredded wheat or something i always thought that was fun but anyway lots of chrome ton of chrome a plethora and then we have two sets of tail lights one for the custom one for the stock and two decal sheets in here so you get the standard amt ones with the sponsors on it then we get this cool one the blue pinstripes and the black knight decal i always like that one and of course the pinstripe for the teardrops you get new york license plates as well as kansas city We're going to kansas city <laughs> and two metal axles the last little components in the box so let's take a look at our ford instructions coming up next and here we are once again looking at instructions and yeah it, this is a photograph of a real ford galaxy which of course is just kind of put on here in black and white very interesting now there is no write-up in here like there was on the Fairlane instructions. But basically, these fold out in this way, printed all over the place. Okay, so let's find out where we start. Oh, heh. these are the giant fold instructions. That's what's going on here. There we go. There's the write-up right there. I was sadly mistaken. History of the 66 Ford Galaxy 7 liter 500. 66 was a very good year for Ford and the very refined Galaxy led the way. The body style met with great enthusiasm. Its crisp, tasteful lines gave it a look far beyond its price. And then it goes on. Um, talking about the Thunder. Uh, power for this model was a 428 cubic inch 3 45 horsepower Thunderbird V8 with a choice of transmissions. Galaxy. Yeah, okay. So it talks all about this. AC Cobra 427 cubic inch engines. How it ended up in NASCAR. The price for putting one together for NASCAR. And all kinds of other cool things going on there. You get this panel here with modeling tips. And then we get into... Panel number one, which is our custom and drag racing engine. Why bother with stock? <laughs> Let's go right for the gusto. Aha, actually, I do believe you get a choice to build two different engines. The Ford 427 stock version and the Ford 428 for racing. That's what they're talking about up there. So because here's the valve cover and that's a big, big one. So you get, let's see, you get two different cylinder heads. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're doing. So they share the same block down here. However, the chrome components, as we'll see coming up, make this into the 428. So you've got the bigger um, front engine cover, the bigger cylinder heads and valves, valve covers, the dual four barrel carburetor manifold, and you can also uh, put on these air in induction uh, tubes. Nuts for your NASCAR style. Okay, now let's take a look here. Actually, that would be a drag racer, pardon me. Here's your NASCAR and your stock engine. So stock, Grand National, they call it. So uh, there's your air filter, or your air cleaner, with a triangular back to it and the high-rise intake manifold. That is supposed to be a carburetor there, but you don't see it because the air cleaner covers it. There's your 427 cylinder heads and exhaust manifolds. You can see the different front cover going on here, and of course your exhaust manifolds and whatnot. But you know, you could swap a bunch of stuff around and make like a NASCAR version with the 428 and all the rest just by combining a bunch of these engine parts all together. Okay, so next up, we get into this panel here, which talks about our dashboard. And as you can see, it's a three-piece assembly. You got your steering wheel, your instrument panels, which you do not use that for stock. So that would be your 
your dragster, your custom, your grand national, whatever. And then your dashboard in here. Of course, the speedometer here is one of those ones that moved across. And then we've got our regular front bucket seats, but if you want the racing style, you take this one here. It's just a side panel and you glue it on to one of the sides of the seat. There's our interior going in there. There's the roll bar for the Grand National or the Dragster. And then here's our stock seats going in. The gear lever going into the console. There's a chrome insert for the console. Your dashboard's gluing in there. Then we get, we get our nice wheels and tires. Now these are using the old skinny Firestone tires, which AMT used this type of tire in cars like the 32 Ford and all that stuff. So these are quite old. These are uh, bigger Goodyears. These are like the, your NASCAR wide tires. You can put on the Krager Mag wheels on these things. Or there is a... they don't show it here, but there... or it might be on the next panel. There's a insert in here that makes this into a sunken type wheel. These, of course, are the Ford stock wheel covers, which are very nice. And your wheel back with bolts in it. Okay, now going into now going into the panel on the back. Like I said, there's the outer wheel ring. This is the extended one. You paint it body color, and your wheel back, and this will give you your NASCAR style wheels. And then, of course, for drag racing, you got the Krager mags, and you're using your drag slick here, which is a Goodyear as well. Okay, so next up, you got your engine going into your floor pan or your chassis. Pardon me. And this is almost like the promo style again because you got these raising blocks that pop in there. Uh, you got your choice of where you're going to put your axle in here, a top or a bottom hole. If you put it in the bottom hole, it should raise the front end up for um, dragster. Okay, getting into the next panel here. We have our chassis <laughs> going together. Pardon me. And so the rear axle and all the exhaust pipes are molded together on this one as one piece. And it drops in here and conveniently covers up that metal wire axle going in through here. There's the wheels going in there and the front suspension will cover that axle. The drive shaft. And these are your exhausts for your Grand National with the headers and a balancing pipe. The balance pipe is for custom only, it says. All right. And next up we have the body going together and they give you your stock or your NASCAR style hood and then the custom and the drag one with that teardrop shape sort of like the Ford Thunderbolt Thunderbolt and your interior here which is the interior tub and your front windshield which has got front and rear wind windshield which has got the bars in between your firewall and your radiator going in there and then the last couple of panels here are the body assemblies. So you've got your stock and your drag. And then here's the custom one. And the custom one has the nice uh, George Barris Chrysler 300 style grill going in here. And bumperettes. And then here we've got our Grand National and this is the NASCAR style. You cover up your headlights with these big covers, much like they did in the real racing. And finally we get into this panel here, which shows the stock and drag options. So this is the stock and drag taillights going in. There's a little red plastic there, and then the chrome outsides, the bezels. In the Grand National, they give you the retraining straps for your windshield and the metal covers that go over for your taillights, as well as your rear bumper. And then in the custom version, you've got these cool exhaust tips, bumperettes, a rear rolled pan, a plaque, and these custom taillights which fill up the whole full square in there. So just like last week, I want to show you my built-up model of the 66 Ford Galaxy that I did a long time ago as a kid, and of course our red plastic one that I've just opened here. Now as you can tell, the fit and finish on this model kit is really excellent once you get it all done. 
I put these big white wall tires on here. <laughs> My dad was the one that always liked the big white walls, so I put this on kind of for his sake. But uh, they do look kind of crazy on this car, considering the big whites were kind of gone in 66. There's a nice underneath going on here. This is a vintage, more of a vintage molded kit. It does have a few issues to it. Um, however, it still ends up being built not too badly. The hood gap is quite nice, just like on the Fairlane. And as we open up the hood here, if we can open up the hood, thank you very much. Got some nice hood hinges, a glue on there. There's our 427 Ford Big Block, the 7 liter. I painted the firewall a different color green. I do believe this should all be black inside. <laughs> you uh, Ford experts would know a little bit better. And of course we got our hood underneath there. And uh, nice detail on the back end of this thing. This is one of those models I painted with a brush. You can kind of see the ripples as I tilt it in the camera there. So anyway, let's take a look at our red plastic body. And I noticed something here that I don't like <laughs> with this particular mold. And I wish I could go back to 1986 and change things. The bag was packed really tightly, as you recall. And look what's happened. Warped. I've got a warp right here, twisting over. This whole side on this side is bent in. I'm not too sure if I can straighten that up with the frame and everything. I'll have to make a YouTube video with lots of inappropriate adult language in it <laughs> to try to fix this up. But as you can see, much like the Fairlane, they AMT molded in a bar in here. Now, when you get your model kit, of course, it, it probably won't be warped. I have the bad luck, you know. <laughs> But anyway, there's a nice cross brace in here to support the front fenders. These two little tabs hold the hood in place, but it could always be nice to put a piece of evergreen styrene in there. Just sticking out no further than that. I always like the uh, excellent detail on the body. Right there you've got your chrome trim panel, as well as the uh, piece of chrome molding that goes there, and the the emblem for your 427 and whatnot. Galaxy on the rear fenders here. The Ford lettering across the back. Unlike the Fairlane, doesn't have a chrome panel in here though. And of course the nice roof line and the little vents on here. Fuel fil filler door. And those are the big holes for those air inductions for your dragster. Firewall detail on the one side. Very nicely molded. It's just too bad mine's warped. Of course you got your mold marks there and sprue here, which you'll have to take down with a half round file. But overall, it's a very nicely molded kit. Next up we have our chassis undercarriage going on here. You can see once again there's nice molded in detail. And you get your brake cables here for your, your regular parking brake. There's the gas can sitting here, and another little thingy there. <laughs> okay, so here's the front suspension. You can see it's got these big notches cut out in here. Let's just tilt that. That's for those riser blocks. And then you get sort of a partial here for the metal axle. And remember that that differential covers over the other part of that. Nice crisp detail in here. You have to paint this flat black. And then on this side, it's pretty smooth, but again, we have our buttons here from the mold molding. And then in our front aprons, we also have wires hanging over the top. These little blocks are to hit on the inner fenders inside the car at the top, just to uh, give it the right height here. So again, very nicely done. Let's take a look at some of the other red components. And here's our interior tub. And again, now there's another car that I did just a little while ago that had these uh, bits in here. This would be for if you're doing a convertible. Your convertible boot would be sitting inside of these. The uh, folding arm parts of the convertible boot is what I'm trying to say. 
So as you can see, there's a difference between the tub and remember last week with the Fairlane separately molded detail. You can tell that the door handles have this sort of stretch down effect to it and that sort of thing. They're not really crisp, they're kind of soft. And I know this is red, it's really hard to see. It's hard for the camera to focus in on it. But anyway, bear with me. There's the door latch and things. It doesn't help to have a pointer with a red tip end either. <laughs> I just noticed that. But basically the, the uh, interior tub is very basic. Typical of the era that the kit would have come out in. All right, so here's two smaller parts trees that I'm just going to do as one larger component. There's our dashboard here. It's typical of 66 Ford Galaxy. These are those straps that go across the back window. Our raising blocks. These are the blanks for your NASCAR version. And then we have our multi-piece roll bar sitting over here again for the NASCAR or the dragster, your choice. So I'll just take a look and focus on the dashboard, provided the camera can focus on the dashboard. Here, let's back this out and bring this up even higher. There we go. So I don't know if you can see it, but there is a molded in wood grain panel that goes across here in a big strip. Wood grain was quite popular in the 60s and early 70s, uh, even going up into the 80s. Uh, one of those luxuriant things sort of carried over from the 30s and 40s. And uh, here we have our dashboard and there's a speedometer in the back there. Kind of a challenge to get that painted, but there is nice detail to it. And of course we got a glove box and an ashtray happening in there. So very nicely done. I'll just bring up the roll cage here. And you can see it's got padded corners and padding along the top so that a, the driver wouldn't bump his head on a metal bar. Very nicely done. Of course on the back here there is a lot of seam lines, pretty sharp one and our mold release buttons on there that you're going to have to of course clean up with a number 16 hobby blade. So now let's take a look at the other red components. So next up we have our stock hood or of course a NASCAR hood. We've got a, the two wheel backs, our bucket seats and the bench seat across the back and these of course are the wheel inserts going to the front so that you can use this for the NASCAR bit. And as you can see, the detail on the seats is really nice. Nicely molded in, and as we turn the hood over, again we've got a couple of those mold marks underneath. N nice detail on the back of the wheel backs. And there's that component done. And here we have our Ford undercarriage suspension components. There's the rear axle there with these Ford anti-sway bars and well there's another anti-sway bar that we'll link onto here and drop into the frame somewhere and there's our exhaust pipes and more of the wheel backs now over here we have the customized grill for our sort of Chrysler 300 series Ford Galaxy that George Barris was working on and the rear rolled pan there's the uh, center console and the battery. Now it could be quite possible that this kit came out around 1966 or 1968. Um, it might have even been a annual. So that's sort of the vintage of this thing. You can see some nice detail there. Uh, not too much to be concerned with on the back side of this. So uh, let's move on to our next set of components. Okay, so with these parts, we have our drag racing hood with that big th Ford Thunderbolt teardrop on there. It's quite popular in the day. There's our giant intake manifold for the NASCAR version, as well as the air cleaner. There's our racing side seat, the radiator, and again, there's hood hinges there. But again, here's our steering wheel, and because that thing was packed so tightly in the bag, look at what happened to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's bent off at like a 45 degree angle sitting outside of there. So I'm going to have to figure a way to bend this back carefully to get that horn ring and everything to line up. Anyway, there's our hood and not much on the mold bumps there, 
But there's our firewall. And you can see all the nice detail on here at the brakes, master cylinder, the wiring going along here. This is for our heater motor. All kinds of cool stuff under there. So again, very nice. It's just too bad I got a, a warped model. Finally, our last red component part tree is our engine block. And this, of course, can be built as your Ford 427 or your Ford 428. You can see the, the block itself is universal in this kit. There are the nice intakes going on there and our exhaust pipes as well as the front suspension components, the front engine cover, the water pump, the you get two different types of pulleys of course for your two different engines, your distributor and your um, cylinder heads, the oil pan and it's got a notch in there for the axle to go through, there's the upper radiator hose and the intake manifold. And I'll just turn this over here so you can see the Ford 427 intake manifold and all the rest of the components here from this side. So very cool indeed. Now we get to my favorite part, the chrome tree. And we're actually lucky because we get two chrome trees in this. So let's just quickly whip through the first. So here we have our grill and then the factory Ford wheels, the factory rear bumper, and there's your taillight bezels, your gear shift lever, your exhaust manifolds for the custom, a chrome fan, and then here's the pipes for your dragster, as well as a couple additional chrome bits here, Krager mags, there's the gauges for the custom and the dragster, and the NASCAR. <laughs> there's that Chrysler 300 type front grill insert for the Bears custom, the center console in chrome, the rear tail lights, the bumperettes, some really cool stuff. I mean, check out the detail level in there. And of course, that's that's uh, you can paint your Citadel um, Nuln oil in there and wipe it out. Get the chrome grill going up. And then look at the gauges in there. Real nice detail on that. And from the back side, a couple of mold buttons in here that could be filed down. Not too bad on that grill. You know, basic, your basic uh, nice chrome job. Then here's our second chrome part tree. I'll just hold it up there. So you, there's the manifolds there for the custom, the wider chrome 427, or sorry, 428 front engine cover, the big 428 manifold sitting there, and the heads. Let's just turn this up this way too. There's our 427 air cleaner right there, the chrome oil pan for the 428. Then uh, you can see the big 428 um, cylinder head covers. And there's the cylinders that'll be covering <laughs> the front engine cover, the whole deal. Very nicely done. There's that emblem there they were talking about on the custom. So again, nice, nice detail. Next up, we have our glass components here. And as you can see, we get quad headlights going on, but you get the round ones for your stock version and then the square ones for the custom. And again, this is, you can tell this is an older type kit, a little more advanced older type kit, but you get the front and rear windows separated by these rails for alignment. Now, of course, you can always cut this off here and there and glue them in as two separate pieces in the body, which would be a lot better. But like I was saying before, unfortunately, this piece of glass I have got tire burn in it, which is going to be something to try to take out with an LGM polishing cloth and all the rest. It's a nightmare. I wish they had bagged that thing. All right, so here we have our tires, and you actually get four NASCAR tires, which are cool. These are Goodyear Blue Streak uh, stock car racing tires. It says so on the sidewall. These have the spider web in them, so you're going to have to cut that out with your hobby knife. And they've got a nice light kind of tread on here. A couple little, little teeny notches and whatnot. There's a big seam line in here, so you'll have to spin that on your nice wheel spinner. I just so happen to have one here. It's a, I think it's a 7 8 socket with a magnet inside. Oh wait, what's this say here? 7 16 But it fits in the end of a drill bit, which is kind of neat. And of course, can fit inside the wheel hub. 
actually this one's a little bit loose. Oh well. <laughs> I'm not going to let that get me down. All right, anyway. So, and then here we have those Firestone tires. These are the vintage style. They come in the 1934 Ford kind of kits. They have the, uh, what do they call it? The pie plate, pie crust type um, sidewall tread. And then the simple um, tread pattern, just a couple of lines going in there. On this side, there is uh, no um, manufacturer name, but on this side, it does say Firestone. And these ones are nice for painting in those big white walls, like on my green car. And now you get four stock tires, but if we just do this, okay, separate those two, this would be the drag racing one. So you get the stock front tires, and then you get these uh, Goodyear um, Blue Streak drag racing slicks. And these ones have also appeared in many of the old kits, going back to like the 1944 AMT Coupe kit. Yeah, uh, that sort of thing. And then here's our red tail lights. These, of course, are the custom ones. And these are the stock inserts down here. There is um, a little bit of a texture pattern onto the custom tail lights, but the stock ones are just flat red plastic. And of course, we've got our mold marks back here. Now, you can sand these down and use your fine sandpapers to get that clear again. And last but not least, we have the little wire axles that go into your front and rear wheel backs. And here we have our decal sheet. You get some nice New York City license plates in here, which of course you could use if you're doing a diorama with your Ghostbusters. You can have this car on the street and it all have the New York license plates. Then we have some Kansas uh, license plates here. Somehow, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <laughs> and then of course the blue pinstripes and the one for the hood, and then that awesome Black Knight uh, decal again. There, look at that. I mean, that is so cool. That, that could be put on anything. So it's, it's a good one to save if you're not gonna use it, like on this car. And then we've got our small sponsors decal sheet here. So we've got, we've got Moog, Champion spark plugs, um, Liston shock absorbers, Hirsch shifters, Edelbrock, Malaroy ignition, Winston, Union 76, Valvoline, Holly, uh, Mars, or Marshall, Peak, Crane Cams, Goodyear, Monroe, Bell Helmets, Pennzoil, STP, Die Hard Batteries, all kinds of cool stuff. You know guys, in case you're wondering, I think my glasses are actually wearing out. Because some of this stuff I'm not able to read too well anymore. <laughs> but anyway, that's a uh, get my eyes checked on Wednesday. So we'll see how it goes. But there's the decal sheets. Again, very cool. And that completes our look at the AMT 1966 Ford Galaxy Hardtop Coupe by AMT Ertl. A three-in-one kit, and hopefully if you get this kit, it won't have a warped body in it like mine did. <laughs> but what can you say? I mean, it was sealed in the box from 1986, so who's to know? But anyway, I wish you a lot of success in this kit. Well, I sure hope you enjoyed that amazing video of our 1966 Ford Galaxy 2-in-1 by AMT Ertl. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with all your friends and family. Pound that notification bell so that every time I make a new video, you are the first one to know about it. And let's get our big old galaxy driving up to 100 likes so that everyone out there can find it. And until next time, we will see you at Monster Hobbies.